Welcome back to the channel, YouTube world. This is just a brief, not an in-depth look at the classes, um, the weapon customization, and a little bit about the the episodes and stuff. So first thing is, I'm not going to actually click on any of these, but it's just to let you know in case you're curious, you can actually play any of the four episodes whenever you want. You don't have to unlock them. Everything's unlocked right from the get-go. Each episode has three chapters, if you will, except for Tokyo, it only gets two. Maybe that'll be in the DLC. No, I'm just kidding. So when we go to customization, let's go to class again. This is not an in-depth look. I don't know a lot about the game. You all start, obviously, with the weapon. It'll tell you at the bottom. So here you start with a compact uh, SMG and a frag grenade. And as you go through the levels like this, like from like this, like that, like down the rows there, as you level up, you'll unlock these perks that you can purchase with like, you could see the coins there at the top right. <coughs> I got 100. I had 250 from playing one mission, if that gives you an idea. And then I bought a shotgun unlock, and I'll show you that in a second because it kind of ties into how do the weapon unlocks work, which I actually don't really know, but I'm still going to show this to you. Anyhow, the gunslinger is the one that unlocks weapons fairly early. Like here, you can start with an improved Mag 5 machine gun, deals more damage, has more ammo. Here you can start with the Sporting Carbine Pack 15, or let's say the ARC-103 Assault Rifle, which I like. So I'm probably going to play Gunslinger a little bit more. Each one has a perk at 10, 20, and 30. So like here, all active zombies within a radius of 20 meters will be automatically marked. You know, uh, friendly fire damage to your teammates reduced by 50%, and that's good because I'm a noob. Killing 25 zombies in rapid succession grants 50% firearm damage boost to the entire team. Like, you kind of get the idea. You can carry more ammo. This one doesn't unlock until level 21. Increase your health by 25%. Okay, you get the idea. Hellraiser, you start with a shotgun and uh, a C4. Just real quick, explosive fires. Yeah. All right, and then him. He doesn't get to unlock what you start with on a weapon for, let's say, level 13, which seems to be the norm for most classes. So like Medic, it's the same thing. You'll start with a compact SMG and a, a free med kit. What do we get here? All incapacitated team members will stay alive 30% longer. Fighting chance. Med kits used by you and your teammates restore 10% more health. That doesn't seem all that big of a deal. Fixer. You start with a, a supply bag and scout rifle. Increase carried ammo capacity for weapons by 10%. And again, level 13. See him. Increase carry, right? Increased health. So a lot of the perks do repeat themselves. This one you can start, see, with the Pack 15 whereas the uh, Gunslinger can do it at like level 8, I think it was. Um, supply bag contains 25% more explosive ammo, masking grenade, effects during... Uh, I just want to go through this quickly because we're already 3 minutes in and I don't want this to be a 20 minute video. So read that real quick. Again, just briefly. Oh, you can start with this in your secondary weapon. I have no idea what that weapon is, to be honest. I'm not a weapons expert. I do like them, but I don't know much about them. Slashers, more melee, so you start again with a compact SMG and a stun gun. You do better at melee. See, so this one I had played, and I'm level 2, and I'm halfway to level 3. That was playing one mission. The, the first one where my microphone wasn't working. So much hate. Uh, so you'll see you do better with, like, crowd control. Uh, this one I could unlock if I had 50 more points. Movement, speed penalty, whatever. And you can see that I'm halfway... To unlocking level three. Him, I wouldn't. I would start with a TMP5 SMG with a silencer upgrade. Remember that one for a second. You and all your teammates can perform melee strikes before becoming tired. Perform one more melee strike. So this seems to be a lot more in depth than like a uh, Left for Dead because it just keeps getting compared to that, right? And then the exterminator. Sorry, the slasher. I told you compact SMG. Okay, sorry. This one, you start with a shotgun and a Molotov. 
And this one, you can start with an improved RPG L4 that deals 100% more damage. Tega 12 Heavy Assault Shotgun. So this one fairly early as well for weapons. His 10 Mortar Machine Gun Ammo Capacity Increase. Blah, blah, blah. Deep Pockets. There's other classes that have that increased primary and secondary by 25% as well. Explosive Fire dealt to your assault team may reduce by 50%. Where there's more than 30 zombies in the air, firearm damage is increased by 25%. Uh, okay, I just want to go through this quickly. So, like, for this one, what was it? Sorry, where you start with a uh, TMP5 and a silencer upgrade. And this one you start with a... Uh, where is the one where you start with a shotgun? So I played Hellraiser earlier, uh, shotgun. Now I get to the uh, the weapons part. Five minutes and six minutes, okay. Shotgun. So when you go to weapon customization, as you play the weapons, as you play levels, sorry, you'll come across weapons that are on the ground. If you pick those up and you play with them, you'll earn XP with the exact weapon you were using. For example, I was mainly using the shotgun. And as you can see, I got 75 out of 250 um, XP. And I started off with this shotgun, the M500. Now, I upgraded it because I paid 150 to get this one, which is decent increase in uh, power. Any class that I chose where you start off with a shotgun, you'll start off with this one if you actually clicked it. See how I have the yellow triangle at the top left of the rectangle? I would start with that one if I clicked it. So that's how you, you pick, how you loosely pick what starter weapon you're starting with, but your class will also dictate what type of weapon you start with. So I'm assuming as you buy them, like the perk points there, how you can like just unlock and you go down the tree. I'm assuming if it says start with this, start with that, well you can't start with both at the same time, so I'm pretty sure you'll be able to toggle it on and off. And this is where, like I said, you come and, you know, you can fully upgrade your weapons. I don't really know too much how the whole thing works, like pistol, I had clicked on this one earlier and I had the gold gun, but I like the silencer, so I clicked that. Everybody starts with a pistol, so you'll start with that if you click that again, like I said. And there's three tiers of weapons. There's that ARC-103 uh, that you can unlock as a gunslinger at like level 7, I think it was, or 9, somewhere around there. So again, same thing. Uh, you know, whatever ones you unlock, you know, if you click on this one, click it, you start the game and it says you'll start with an ARC-103, it'll probably be the one that you select. There are some that seem to be specific, like, oh, you start with an SMG with a silencer. Like the TMP-5 with a silencer. Well, which one has the silencer? They all seem to have some sort of silencer on it, so again, I guess it just means whatever one you end up picking in the list. I'm not going to go through all the weapons, like in great depth there, but this just kind of shows you the, uh, and then there's three tiers. So there's the Assault Carbine, the HW416, which I kind of like. So when you choose a class, is what I'm saying, make sure you obviously pick the one that'll have to do more with, um, you know, the weapons that you enjoy. And then there's the melee weapon. There's two. There's the Lobo and the Machete. And that's pretty much it for that. So like I said, me, I, I kind of like uh, the shotgun. And, you know, I like the ARC-103. So I'm probably going to end up with that going for uh, almost 10 minutes. I'm probably going to start off with, like, uh, either Gunslinger to unlock that uh, 103 at level 9. And I'm probably going to do uh, Exterminator. I'll probably end up playing them all, to be quite honest with you, over time. So that's pretty much it for me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And when you play the game, you don't get to pick nothing.
you don't get any levels or nothing. Just nothing happens. There's no progress. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, well, I mean, of course, that'd be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.